Hi everyone this is Mohana Bharati In this video we are going to see about history of transistors In October 22 1925 the first patent for the field of field effect transistor principle was filed in Canada by Austrian Hungarian physicist Julius Eger Lenenfeld He was the first person to say the concept of field effect transistors before that we know all the transistors are evolved from the vacuum tubes this was the first invention in real time and implemented in telephone or telegram services and then in radio services before that itself Lenin field introduced the concept called field effect transistor but he didn't make that concept in real time in 1947 William Shockley John Bardeen and Walter Brittain these three people invented first transistor and was successfully demonstrated at Bell Labs in the research arm of American Telephone and Telegraph Next to that on December 23 1947 point contact transistors were in, was introduced by Britain and HR Moore later Moore introduced the concept called Moore's law so that uh, it ha- becomes the basic mantra for the invention of transistors in VLSA design Later in 1948 commercial point contact transistors was introduced and it was used in radio communication in 1949 to 1951 bipolar junction transistor concept was introduced by William Shockley after that in 1956 John Bardeen Walter Hauser Brittain and William Bradford Shockley were honored with Nobel prize in physics for their researches on semiconductors and their discovery of the transistor effects later in 1956 to 1958 planar transistor concept was introduced which uh, makes entirely flat and it was introduced by fairchild Semi- semiconductors which was the leading company producers of semiconductors in that time In 1958 silicon transistors built by Gordon Teal Later to that IC concept was introduced that is integrated chip we can integrate more than one transistor in a single chip which was introduced in 1958 where IC flip flop with two transistors was into introduced by Jack Kilby by Texas Instruments In 1960s field effect transistor concepts was evolved in greater heights as Lennon Field said in 1925 those concepts were implemented in 1960s only by Texas Instruments In 1963 metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors was invented by Atala and Kang at Bell Labs After that in February 1963 CMOS concepts was introduced that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor concepts were introduced by Chi Tang Sha and Frank Vanless at Fairchild Semiconductor After that in 1966 the first gallium arsenide Schottky gate field effect transistors that is MES FET MESFET was made by Carver Mead but these uh, transistors were not commercialized because gallium arsenide uh, was a uh, was not abundant on the uh, field so that it was not commercialized after that in 1967 first report of floating gate mosfets that is fg mos was made by Devon Kang and Simon Sees in 1968 bipolar cmos that is both your uh, 
bipolar junction transistor and complementary metal oxide semiconductor transistor were combined together to overcome the disadvantages of uh, uh, bipolar junction transistor and uh, cmos transistor so that by cmos serves both the advantages of uh, this bjt and cmos which was uh, designed in a single integrated chip that is in ic uh, which was introduced by hong chang lin and ramachandra r iyer in these circuits in by cmos only we can have the mixed signal before that all the transistors that is from fet to your cmos after the invention of semiconductor it made into digitalized before that it serves only analog signal purpose after that it made into digital signal and then in 1968 uh, we invented mixed signal ics this is a overall view about the world of digital ics here from the basic we can have a device and then we can form a circuit from that out of it and then we can have the logic gates and then modules and then systems this is the hierarchy for digital ics in this first unit that is cmos technology we are dealing with more about devices that is these basic concept called bipolar mosfet diodes here bipolar and diodes have been already studied in previous semesters so that uh, we are concentrating only on mosfets its behaviors and then uh, its characteristics and electrical properties and all and then after that we can design a circuit based on these devices that is transistor level circuits after that we can implement with the logic gates so that it will combine together to form a module either we can have a combinational circuits that depends upon only the present state and then sequential circuits that depends upon the present state and the previous state here we can classify the sequential circuits into synchronous and asynchronous mode also and then all these circuits combinational and uh, sequential circuits together form the modules after that we are going into system level that is called as application specifics or general purpose whatever the system it may be it consists of more modules and serves a particular purpose thanks for watching this video like it share it subscribe it thank you